Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I am continuing to explain how to memorize two and three letter abbreviation of amino acids. This is my second video and for those people who just started to watch this video without watching my previous video, I highly recommend to start watching my first video where I explain these five first amino acids. And in this video we are going to learn these five amino acids. So basically we are going to learn half of the amino acids. And do you remember that my previous video I ended with Russian proverb, repetition is the mother of learning. So my goal is not just to make four videos explaining you how to memorize these abbreviations, but I want you really memorize it with ease. So today's video we are going to start with reviewing what we have learned in previous video and then we'll go to a new list. We don't need this part of the list. We don't need this part of the list. And now a time to review what you have learned from my previous video. So we have learned five amino acids. So let's take them in random order and let's try to recall three letter and one letter abbreviation of each amino acid here. So asparagine, what you remember about asparagine? Asparagine is a mite of the aspartic acid. And you remember that aspartic acid, three letter code is going to be A, S, P. And why asparagine also is not A, S, P, but aspartic acid. Do you remember the hint? This is mnemonic hint, the two beats one. So these three letters come from aspartic acid and asparagine using different three letters. And one letter code, as you remember, it's going to be D, which comes from here. So one letter code is going to be D. And as for the asparagine, three letter code is going to be a, S, and the last letter comes from this N here. So A, S, N. And one letter code is going to be just N. This last letter in A, S, N. And asparagine or aspartic acid is going to be A, S, and the last letter, because we are not sure whether it is Asparagine or aspartic acid, these two amino acids, many years ago it was very hard to uh, define them and sometimes in computer databases scientists used special symbol which is three letter code and one letter code and for the last letter they just used X, A, S, X, which is unknown. And what is the one letter code? I hope you still remember that this is not going to be X, here we have two amino acids. Letter B stands for the second letter in alphabet. So one letter code is going to be B. Now let's move to arginine. And arginine, three letter code is going to be A, R, G. So first three letters in arginine. And what is a one letter code? You see that all these amino acids start with A. So definitely one of them have to have one letter code, which is going to be A, but this is not arginine. It's going to be alanine. Let me switch to this amino acid first. So you would know why uh, for this amino acid, it is not A. So alanine, first three letters is going to be A, L, A. So three letter code is A, L, A. And one letter code is going to be A. And how to memorize? Because we have A in three letter code, which appears twice. So one letter code is A. And in the arginine, because A is already taken, it's going to be just second letter in three letter code. So it's going to be R. Now you can check this table and take a look if what we have here is the same what we have in a table here. I hope that every one of you also gave the correct answers. And now we can move to learn all these abbreviations, three letter and one letter abbreviations of next five amino 
assets. And our first amino acid of the day is going to be cysteine. And as you see, there is only one amino acid that starts with C. So there is no special tricks to memorize this amino acid. Three letter code is going to be just first three letters of this amino acid. And it is obvious that one letter code is also C. Super easy to memorize. Now let's move to four amino acid whose name start with G. And here we have to use certain tricks to memorize because you see that one letter code is going to be very different from first letter of these four amino acids that start with G. So let's move glutamic acid. Glutamic acid and first three letters is GLU just like in the name of this amino acid. By the way, there is only two amino acids whose name consists of two words. One is glutamic acid and what is the other? It's also going to be acid, it is aspartic acid. And when we are going to memorize this amino acid and one letter abbreviation, it's directly connected to aspartic acid. Take a look how we can memorize it, glutamic acid one letter abbreviation is E. Take a look, aspartic acid. One letter abbreviation is D. And E is just next letter in the alphabet. There are only two acidic amino acids and the first one would be aspartic acid and second glutamic acid. If you remember that aspartic acid one letter code is D, then it is very easy to recall that E is going to be one letter code for glutamic acid. At this point, you may also say, how would I remember those even there are only two amino acids that has acid in the name that glutamic acid is the second amino acid and one letter code is going to be E. For example, this is how I memorize it. Aspartic acid for me has a strong association with Spartacus. Like Spartacus is ancient hero of the Rome uh, and he's number one. So glutamic acid is going to be number two. So if aspartic acid is D, then glutamic acid one letter code is E. I hope that everyone understands that the method that I'm showing you today how to memorize this amino acids is not scientific, it's just mnemonic technique. In order to memorize all this, especially one letter codes, we should use certain logic. We cannot memorize them just like repeating over and over for hundreds of times. It doesn't make sense, it's not going to work. And next amino acid is going to be glutamine. Glutamine is a mite of the glutamic acid. And I also left this table just on purpose to explain again how this glutamine is also uh, has a relation with asparagine. Asparagine is a mite of aspartic acid and glutamine is a mite of the glutamic acid. So when we name glutamine, we're using the same logic. When we name asparagine, which is a mite of aspartic acid, take a look. We take first two letters, A, S and N, this N. And glutamine, we also take first two letters, G, L and also add N. So three letter code is going to be GLN and not GLU, which we leave for glutamic acid two bits one. So glutamic acid is going to be GLU and glutamine is going to be GLN. To specify that this is a mite, how we memorize that glutamine is going to have one letter code Q. And actually, if you would write G and Q, you would be able to notice that G and Q looks very similar. Now let me explain how we are going to memorize glutamine or glutamic acid. That three letter code is GLX. Two letters, two first letters is going to be GL and last is going to be X. And the logic is the same. As you remember, asparagine or aspartic acid, three letter code is going to be first two letters we take from both amino acids and the last is going to be X, like unknown. And here is also going to be first two letters and then X, 
unknown whether it is glutamine or glutamic acid. And Z, actually very easy to memorize, X, Y, Z. So I don't have any other mnemonic technique. I just, when see X, I just uh, instantly recall Z or some people pronounce it as Z. And so very easy. And now we can move to the very last amino acid, glycine. And first three letters is going to be the same, G, L, Y. And the last is going to be G. How to memorize it? Glycine has one letter code, G, and not any of these other amino acids. Again, super easy. Glycine is uh, on every table, it goes first because it is most simple amino acid where in our chain, we can find only hydrogen. So, of course, we have to give respect to this amino acid and three letter code have to be the same three letters which we can find. And it's also have to be one letter code G. And now it's time to hide this table and try to recall all the amino acids that we have learned today. And here is going to be one amino acid. Here is going to be second, set and third, fourth. And here is the last amino acid of the day. So let's start with glycine. So all this amino acid now in random order. I hope you remember that glycine is the most simple amino acid and the three letter abbreviation is going to be G L Y. And one letter abbreviation is going to be G. That was easy, right? So now glutamine or glutamic acid, what do you remember? That first two letters is going to be G and L in three letter code. And the last one is going to be X because we are not sure whether glutamine or glutamic acid. So G, L, X. And one letter code, because we have X here, this is going to be X, Y, Z. So it's going to be Z. Now let's move to the next one. Glutamine and glutamine, three letter code is going to be G, L, N. And one letter code is going to be Q and glutamic acid. Three letter code is going to be just first three letters, G, L, U. And why not glutamine has first three letters, G, L, U? Because glutamic acid has two words and two beats one. So first three letters is going to be G, L, U from glutamic acid and not glutamine. And glutamine would have G, L, N just like amide which is uh, going to be asparagine here. First two letters, A, S and N. The same is here. First two letters and N here, G, L, N. Now, what is the one letter code for this amino acid? There are only two acidic amino acids. This is going to be aspartic acid. And one letter code is D. And second is glutamic acid and one letter code is just going to be next letter in the alphabet. So it's going to be E. And the last amino acid is going to be cysteine. There are only one amino acid that starts with C. So very easy. Just first three letters of the amino acids going to be C, Y, S. And one letter code is going to be C. And as you see, out of five amino acids that we learned today, glycine is very easy to memorize because this is smallest and simplest amino acid. And we just use three first letters and G for it. Cysteine is also very easy to memorize. Only one amino acid that starts with C. So we use three letter code, like first three letters of the name and C. And for example, glutamine or glutamic acid GLX, X stands for the uh, unknown, whether it's glutamine or glutamic acid and XYZ and glutamine GLN, just like in another amide asparagine, amide of aspartic acid, we have N here. So when you learn the table, it would be easier for you because you can connect your new knowledge with your previous knowledge. And Q here, I don't have special uh, technique, mnemonic technique, just memorize it. 
and glutamic acid GLU two wins over one. So these three letters come from the name itself, and E is just next letter that goes after D, which stands for the aspartic acid. And aspartic acid is the first because Spartacus. Spartacus is number one, first leader, and glutamic acid is going to be second. So D E. Now we can compare with this table of the day, which we have learned today. And we see that we gave all the correct answers. I hope my today's video is going to help you on your exam. I'm planning to make couple more videos on this topic, but every time please review previous lesson before you will start to learn a new lesson. I will provide links to my other videos on this topic underneath this video in the comment area. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.